uh, male or female who are billionaires right now, millionaires that find themselves in wealthy situations because you had to grind to get there. But some people didn't. Some yeah. people were placed there for reasons. And when I hear a Diddy say, come on home to revolt. But when you look at the structure within revolt, it couldn't be any less black. And we've done yeah. commentary on that. Mm -hmm. Hearing people that formerly worked at Revolt who happened to be of African American descent, females at that, saying how uncomfortable they were made to feel because they were um, uncomfortable in the eyes of the CEO of the company, a Pakistani woman or a Middle Eastern woman, Damn. I should say. Yeah. So it goes to show you, like, hold on, come on home, but come on home to what? <clears throat> Are you just coming out to do with uh, just a money grab too when you're playing this whole Black Lives Matter movement to some people trend and riding a wave? Like that's other people, I don't know. I just question certain things. I would feel more authentic and genuine. And that's why I fuck with a Jay-Z even more than a Diddy when it comes to business. Yeah. And we give Diddy Jay-Z criticism, but at the same time, you look at things in place and it's like, okay, this is okay, okay, okay. When I see a Diddy say, come on home, I just feel like all you're doing is grabbing entertainment. This is just all for entertainment. This is all a TV show. I'm just, I don't know. I'm not buying it. Yeah. Not nah, this one. nah, 100%. That's, that's fucking great ass points that you make there about the whole situation. We're going to have to see how this one unravels in the next few days. I'm sure that Nick Cannon will bounce back stronger than before. But I want to turn our attention to 50 Cent, Sam, man. We got to go in on this and talk about this. Even though 50 Cent might try to flag shit and all that. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. We're getting it in the day, right? Um, 50 Cent put this tweet up soon after hearing that Nick Cannon will be fired for Viacom wilding out. And um, his other sh um, podcast over there. But damn, Nikki, what the F happened? He said, uh, what the F was you on that stupid ass podcast talking about? No more wilding out, huh? Don't worry. Be happy. Um, once again, in response to Nick Cannon being fired from his own damn podcast. Um, what do you think about this, Sam, man? 50 Cent kicking him while he's down. Um, I, I fuck with 50, but I don't, I don't like this too much. Um. Now, 50 is going to be who he is. When he don't like you, he don't care what color you are. He don't care what you got going on. He'll take any opportunity he can get to kick you while you're down. We've right. seen it happen to Ja Rule. We've seen it happen to Rick Ross. Yep. We've seen it happen to anybody else he genuinely does not like. He will kick your ass while you're down. <laughs> um, in this situation, he did the same. Now, he's obviously showing loyalty to his man, Eminem. You got Nick Cannon and Eminem that had their little disagreement, their mm -hmm. beef. I think Nick Cannon threw shots at 50 Cent during that beef where obviously 50 Cent is still feeling some type of way, which is why you got the jab. Yeah. I just think that if, like you said in a pre-production, if you ain't really got nothing nice to say yeah. to a motherfucker you don't fuck with, and they're in a situation where it's more than just names and personalities and egos involved, it's the good of all of us and our human and our society and our race, Shut the fuck up and don't say nothing. Yeah, and especially because we know what side 50 Cent is fighting on. At least we think we know. I, I believe that. Yeah, definitely. I believe 50, that. Um, people that we talked to that knew 50, acted with him and thing, they definitely told us that he's definitely on the up and up. And definitely about, you know what I mean, his people. But um, these are, this is one of these situations where you should just remain quiet. Because mm -hmm. you never want to put yourself in a position when you're helping um, the oppressor um, do the oppressing. You know what I mean? And, and that's a situation that 50 Cent found himself in. Even if it was personal, obviously, like you say, you don't give a damn about none of these dudes. It's, it's almost like a situation like me and you could be fighting, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And our brother's outside. But somebody we see somebody beating up our brothers. Like, oh, now we out there. Like, we got to stop our shit yeah, and now go over there, you know, uh, and fight. So 50 was dead, dead wrong. He knows it. But I think 50 Cent can definitely go to sleep very well <laughs> and take this on the chin knowing that he probably got the last laugh. And again, it's like, I look at it like this too. We understand that the brother brother thing, but at the end of the day, um, Nick Cannon was using his platform to attack 50 as well. Yeah. And they were going back and forth. So ain't no rules when it comes to war. But I'm um, hopefully, I think, you know, hopefully probably won't happen. But 50 Cent will, you know, lend a little bit of support in this situation. But like you said, with that whole Eminem, Mariah Carey, Nick Cannon thing, this is almost like the Rick Ross Ja Rule thing. You never yeah. want to see a resolution, a peaceful resolution to the grave. This dude can die yeah, of tomorrow course, and 50 Cent might, who knows what he might put up on his Instagram. Drago's son and shit. This is crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, damn. But nah, man. Um, but again, this is an example of why we really need our own. We need our own because even let's look at Bollywood. Mm -hmm. Bollywood, in some instances, it's bigger than Hollywood, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And these, the the um, I think it's in India, yep. if I'm not mistaken, 
they they didn't bow down and go to Hollywood. They say, you know what, we're going to create our own and whooping ass. thing and killing it. Even parts of Nigeria and other countries, you know, uh, Spanish people with Telemundo, you know what I mean? They're creating their own and not just waiting around to take scraps for what some other people. But then we got all these actors and actors coming in talking about how messed up Hollywood is. Create your fucking own, man. Yeah, it's time. It's Create time. your own. Ice Cube was trying to do it with the um uh, the basketball league uh, that he got going. Big He's three. trying. Yeah, you know I mean the big three. Uh, uh, um, people are trying, but we can, it's that time now because Jay Z did it with title to a certain extent. We can't keep sitting around here after all these years of being mistreated and thinking that it's going to change. We need institution, institution, institution. If we got something that we own, they can't nobody fire us from it. Nope. You know what I'm saying? So. That's all. That's all the message has been. It's not like we don't, you know, want to deal with other people or against other people. I don't see nobody having a problem with so and so owning Viacom or so and so owning this and that. It's no, no problem with it. Us owning our shit is our security deposit to know nobody can do the shit that they're doing to us right now. And I think we have the right to do that. But we got to come together. And everybody's gonna get. We got to stop thinking that somebody's going to give us the right. No fuck all that. Right. We have the money. We have the capital. Got we it. have the knowledge. We have the know how. Now we have the coders. We have the engineers. We have the talent. We have the staff. There's absolutely no excuse to go out here. And if we have to start small, start small from the ground up the right way and really kill this shit. If Jay Z and Diddy and all these people don't say they'll come to revolt, but y'all really put together a conglomerate right. where you had any shareholder you may please that wanted to come on board, but the majority CEOs, sh- um, 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 the uh, shareholders, yeah, the shareholders, right. the ch- members of the board, black owned with black, um, the mindset of yes, producing for black people, taking that wealth and putting it back in situations where black children can thrive and not have to worry about gunshots and murder or mm-hmm. prison or have that hopeless mindset all their lives, man. This is what we need. And if we, we got our own capital halfway, it's already there. We already are. So we got the money. They played checkers with us. They played the game. They didn't think that we were going to save our money. They thought we were going to spend it, but we right. saved it. Now we can do what we do. The game is ours. But we got to know, man. Yeah, got to do it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, great point. That's why I also think that media is it's one of the huge. most important things it's that huge, we have dog. to control because the media controls the narrative mm-hmm. with everything. And, you know, you got all these companies, you know, the CNNs, the CBS, the ABCs, they can push a narrative collectively that could change a lot of people's thought process. Imagine if you had all these and we owned it and that person owned it and this person owned it. And now it's like, all right, and this is what we putting out. Mm-hmm. That's why, you know, we, we talk about like the academics and, you know, the Van Lathans and, you know, now the Nick Cannons, big yeah. media giants, create your own. Yeah, it's okay to, you know, have a platform like a YouTube and a Facebook to promote off of. We're going to do that all day. But you need something central work we can call ours to say, all right, once we build it up, we don't need y'all no more because y'all not, you know, when we say something, you say it's anti this and anti that. But nah, we can say whatever we want on our shit. So, yeah. you know, um, hopefully these brothers are smart enough to come together and try to um, build that. It ain't all about getting the vodkas. It ain't all about, you know, getting the water companies and the, all the companies that we see in rap. Yeah. Let's start investing in the real companies. Remember that picture they had up? It was like all the rappers and everything. And it was like, um, and entertainment. it was like not one bank, mm-hmm. not one uh, 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 hospital, um, school. hospital credit union, nothing like yeah. that. Those are the type of things that we need. Everybody just follows the trend. Oh, I'm going to get a t-shirt. Oh, I'm going to get some liquor. Oh, I'm going to get some weed. Mm-hmm. Nah, I think it's some real institutions that can yeah. really benefit so we can move forward and benefit from this shit. I 100% agree, man. Great point. Yeah, definitely, man. But yeah, it's the realest podcast out there. You're not going to get it nowhere else on the internet like you're going to get it right here. A lot of people are just, you know, excited with keeping you guys, you know, dumbed down, laughing, laughing and shit, and shit like shit. that, spinning on their fucking head. We're going to give it to you real over here, man. That's what we the realest motherfucking podcast out this motherfucker. Indeed, man. You want to have jokes? You want to laugh and joke around? Come chill with us at a fucking barbecue. You want the real raw <laughs> right. business? Come holler at us on the podcast, man. You already know. Meg the Stallion. Yeah. Oh, God, I seen on Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. Not Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. Hip Hop Uncensored. Hip Hop News Uncensored. God damn, we got so many shows. Right. Crazy. Meg the Stallion, man, got caught up in a situation with uh, tr- uh, damn, I'm fucking up right now. Your boy, Tory. My boy, Tory. I almost said Troy at. <laughs> My boy Tory Lanez, man. Tory Lanez got hit with a gun charge, got locked up. We heard a bunch of shit. She came out today and had some pretty scary news, man. You got that for us? Yeah, yeah. She was on. Well, I mean, I give him a little bit of backstory the other night. Pretty much the story popped off that um, it was an incident that went down. The cops were called to a Hollywood Hills resident. 
Tory Lanes, no, after before that, mm. I should say, um, they were given a description of an SUV. Later that night, they found an SUV. Tory Lanes was in it. Meg Thee Stallion was in it, and it was a gun in it. And Tory Lanes was arrested, but we didn't know what happened to Meg Thee Stallion. Um, she put out a statement. She put, "I was never arrested. The whole experience was eye opening and a blessing in disguise. I hate." That it took an experience for me to learn how to protect my energy. But um, it was a few reports that said she had a laceration or something in her foot. Uh, I think TMZ said that it might have been because of the window glass that broke. But now we're finding out that she was shot mm. in the foot, according to her and some reps close to her. Um, and they're saying that it was a targeted incident. So uh, I don't know. I didn't like get it in in Hollywood like that, man. I told it's crazy you. shit going on. I told you. I don't. I lived <laughs> out there, and it ain't Disney World. You hear Hollywood and think, "Damn, I'm about to go out there and get a lay on my my, my shoulders, and we about to right. work in this paradise, and I'm about to work and have my dreams come true." And it's farthest from the fucking truth. You got people out there starving, people out there hungry. Mm-hmm. It could pop off on Melrose out there yeah. in Hollywood at any moment, anytime. Anything can happen. These stars are out here, out in the open easily accessible Mm -hmm. somebody always needs to come up somebody's always hungry and you see these kind of situations happen it's unfortunate um like you said she had an eye-open experience one of her houston producers had something to say to tory lanes it was on a post and delete Mm. Lil jew made the beat added tory lanes and said count your fucking days wow 